Well, hello, God bless you today. Bishop Patrick L. Wood Sr. here, and I'm in the sanctuary, as you can tell. I am where I was last night. On last evening, we had the big, big, big town hall meeting with our youth on last evening. And I tell you, hundreds showed up. People came from near and far, and I am I am blown away. First of all, I want to give a great shout out to my first administrative assistant, uh, Elder John Amanchuku, who is also the youth pastor uh, here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ and the tremendous youth uh, department. They are doing such a, a, a great job because let me tell you what last night showed me. And uh, but before I tell you what it, what it showed me, the, the t- last night was a town hall. I wanted to see how the social justice movement, the, the BLM movement, uh, the, the, the George Floyd, uh, uh, the killing of George Floyd, his death, uh, 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 and all of the things that have been in the news, Jacobs and others, and how this uh, was affecting their minds, their thinking, uh, their belief. Uh, we talked about the election, of what you look for in a candidate. I wanted to know all of the things uh, that are going on. I wanted to know uh, to what degree is the ethos of the church, the teachings of the church, to what degree is it affecting our young people? Is it blessing them? Uh, Do they get it? It, are, are, Are they connecting? And when I say young people, I'm talking about high school, junior high, college, And those who have recently graduated from college, employed young people, unemployed young people, married young people, single young people, young men and young women. These young African-Americans from of every stripe, they came out last night. And I'll tell you, you are looking at one of the most proud and encouraged pastors in the body of Christ, because when those young people walked up to the microphone and began to talk and to share their heart. It was not monologue. I did not preach a sermon. It was dialogue. As we talked and as we exchanged, I said, oh, God, they get it. Oh, Lord, these people are are on fire for the Lord. They're little warriors. They believe what is preached from the pulpit. They believe the word of God. They trust the God of the Bible. Uh, They know how to uh, watch the news. They know how to discern uh, bias. They know how to to tell whether or not the truth is being told. Uh, We discussed uh, subjects that range from... uh, Things I've just mentioned, we talked about whether or not the police should be defunded or funded. And I'll tell you, I was just blown away. I mean, to hear African-American men and women to stand on their own, these young people, and to say uh, we push back against those who equate intelligence and uh, articulate speech and proper dress with being white. Uh, but that we're African Americans and we're black and it means that we've got to work twice as hard and we push against the notion that correctness means whiteness because we know that you can be black and be correct, that we could be African American and be correct, that that stupidity is not synonymous with being an African American, but that we're smart, we're intelligent and that we matter matter and that we contribute to this society. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'm I'm going to talk just a little bit about it tonight. There is a powerful teaching that I'm going to do tonight that the Lord has given me that I'm just, I'm ripping and rowing to just tear into it and deliver the word of the Lord to you. But I tell you, I tell you on last evening, I want to thank the parents. I want to thank the parents of the upper room. And also there were parents who who heard about this on YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and our various ministry outlets, and they came as well and brought their young people. And uh, uh, But I want to say to the parents, thank you.
for inspiring and encouraging your 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 your, your teenage stu- uh, sons and daughters, your children, your kids to come to church, to participate in the youth department, to uh, come to the church services, to come ready to listen, to bring their hearts and their minds where they come and they take the God of the Bible seriously. We could not do what we're doing. We could not have the effect on your children that we're having were it not for you and your willingness to to uh, buttress the teachings of the church and to in- encourage them to continue to come and to be a part of the work of the Lord. I say it, it says to me that the future is bright and there is so much to be excited about. Now, I want you to meet me here tonight. At the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, we're going to study the word of the Lord. There is a word from the Lord that I can hardly wait to share with you tonight, my friends. And I want you to come and meet me right here. Whether you meet me on YouTube Live or Facebook Live or here live in the sanctuary. We've been back for over 21 weeks And we've had no problems. The Lord is watching over us. God is keeping us. And the Lord is taking care of us. And I thank God. He told me I'm going to show myself strong on your behalf. And the Lord has done just that. So meet me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. (laughs) Yes, Bible study. We are going to study the word of the Lord together. As a matter of fact, I have my Bible open uh, uh, to the text that I'm going to be uh, preaching from tonight, but you got to come and see it. I'll show it to you tonight when you come out. Bring your word, or if you're there, if you're there at home, or wherever you may be, uh, wherever you're located at, and we're hearing from people uh, from all over from all over. Thank you, California. Thank you, Qatar. Uh, Qatar. Thank you, uh, India. Thank you uh, from uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, all over. People are tuning in. Thank you, blacks, uh, uh, African-Americans, uh, white folk. Uh, praise the Lord. We're hearing from people uh, all over, members of the body of Christ who appreciate the word of the Lord. Well, we're going to walk in God's word. And God's going to keep us. God bless you. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Make it a great day.